वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न और अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द वेरियस काइंड्स ऑफ डिफेक्ट्स व्हिच आर ऑकर्ड इन द वेल्डिंग प्रोसेस सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द वेरी फर्स्ट डिफेक्ट दैट इज द अंडरकट सी दिस अंडरकट अपीयर्स लाइक अ स्मॉल स्नॉच in the weld interface you can see the this is the small notch in the weld interface which is nothing but the undercut so what are the various uh, reasons to get this defect into the weld so uh, this defect is generally attributed to the improper welding techniques and excessive current conditions please remember improper welding techniques i will write here improper welding techniques then excessive current conditions then the magnetic arc blow magnetic arc blow and the use of damped electrodes okay so what is use of damped electrodes that electrodes containing uh, higher hydrogen okay that is known as the damped electrode okay so uh, this is this defect is also caused by the incorrect manipulation of the electrode okay while uh, depositing the bead in horizontal and in vertical welding it is also because of improper or incorrect incorrect manipulation of electrode while depositing the bead in horizontal and vertical technique or position okay so this is the undercut now the next defect we are having is the improper fusion improper fusion okay so it will be look like this suppose this is the well okay so it is kind of some uh, it is it is appear like some kind of discontinuity so see here this is the discontinuity in the weld zone in the weld zone so what is this the improper fusion is nothing but you can see the A discontinuity in the weld zone it is nothing but the incomplete fusion so this is because of it is mainly because of the uh, improper welding techniques again it is because of a wrong weld joint design again it is because of the selection of wrong welding parameters the improper fusion why this is occurring the reasons are it is because of the improper welding techniques it is again because of the wrong design of the joint it is also because of the improper penetration and wrong welding process parameters process parameters so these are the reasons to have the incomplete fusion okay some discontinuity we are going to see 
into the well zone now the main remedy for controlling uh, this incomplete fusion is that the only the control of welding current suppose if you are having some required value of current and you are not providing that much amount of current to fuse the metal definitely the heat is not going to produce that much heat that much heat is not going to produce into this well joint and your joint will be incomplete somewhere isn't it so only the current only current is the controlling factor or controlling parameter to minimize or to nullify the improper fusion okay so this is the improper fusion now the third defect we are having as the porosity the porosity you know very well that is the entrapment of the gas into the weld okay which is nothing but the entrapped gas or gases into the uh, well bead is nothing but the porosity now which are the main gases which can cause the porosity in the welding so see there are many gases in the weld zone these are hydrogen oxygen nitrogen then we are having argon carbon dioxide okay but out of that see when you talk about the argon helium carbon dioxide these are the gases because of their insolubility in the point of view of insolubility they are not going to uh, get into the molten material okay but they are acting as a shielding gases but if you talk about the hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen so these are the main source of porosity into the welding so if you talk about the hydrogen which are the main gases hydrogen then oxygen and nitrogen so this entrapment of these gases are responsible for causing the porosity into the weld now you talk about the hydrogen so this is the main source actually hydrogen is the main source to cause porosity into the weld why it is so because whenever we are having the coatings like the cellulose coating which are having a lot of uh, hydrogen content again when we are uh, using the uh, water dissociation then uh, if you have the uh, the electrode as a wire which has drawn from from the wire drawing operation so any lubricants which are present on that wire so these are actually the sources of the hydrogen and which will uh, cause the severe porosity into the weld now how this oxygen is going to come so see this oxygen either may be from the uh, the flux coatings or the flux materials having on to the electrode so either it can form the oxides with the coating on the electrode or the oxides of the base metal via these two sources oxygen can get into the well pool okay and if you talk about the nitrogen so nitrogen it is generally it come from the atmosphere and get soluble into the well pool causing this porosity defect so any gases which are entrapped in the uh, well pool definitely causing this porosity and the porosity is definitely reducing the strength of the weld okay so this is about porosity now the next defect that we are having in the weld is that the slag inclusion the slag inclusion so what is slag inclusion actually we all know that the fluxes in the weld are uh, combining with the impurities in the uh, in the material which is present in the weld pool and they are floating on to the weld pool okay so but when this uh, when we are using the high intensity arc so what happen the force of the arc it take this uh, flux 
into the uh, weld pool and if there is no sufficient time to come out these fluxes and float over the weld pool then and the solidification is over then definitely this lag will be get uh, entrapped into the weld pool and which will ends up with the defect slag inclusion understood understood what i said so how this lag is actually formed so the flux get react with the impurities in the molten material and uh, form a slag and this slag is get it spread or float onto the uh, onto the weld pool and once the solidification occur you can chip up this slag but what happened whenever there is a high intensity arc is there so what that arc will do arc will force this uh, floating slag into the weld pool and once this slag is getting at the bottom of the weld pool and if there is no sufficient time to come out this slag and float over this weld pool and before that the solidification of the weld occur so this slag is get entrapped into this weld and causing this slag inclusion okay so what are the uh, things which are responsible for this slag inclusion that is the some reasons are we are having the uh, number one the viscosity viscosity of weld metal viscosity of weld metal we are having the excessive current conditions excessive current conditions then we can have the previous undercut say we are we are using the number of passes so in the previous pass if say any undercut is present so again that will uh, encouraging this sand or uh, this sorry slag inclusion okay so this is the slag inclusion defect now the next effect we are having as the hot cracking so actually uh, this defect is basically takes place at the higher temperatures and the crack is the intergranular and it is very small in size so it is not vis visible by these uh, naked eyes so this is actually the present at the very high temperature intergranular cracks in the well now if you want to eliminate this, eliminate this hot cracking defect we can preheat the base material actually what happened when there is a large cross sectional area of the bead at the uh, bottom and you are having the less deposition rate of molten metal then the hot cracking definitely going to occur so you just use the preheating uh, to eliminate the hot cracking in same fashion we are also having the cold cracking so cold cracking is basically the cracks which are appear on the uh, weld after the completely cooling of the weld okay so these are the cracks occurred at the room temperature and definitely after completely cooling of the weld these are the cold cracks now why these cracks are appearing so if you are using the very using very high rates of cooling so rapid cooling definitely there is a martensitic transformation will be there again so here we are having the large amount of residual stresses okay then the martensitic transformation or martensite transformation 
which will lead to the cracking because of rapid cooling leads to cracking because of rapid cooling okay so these are uh, some reasons for developing the cold crack and the remedy that we are having that you should go for pre and post heating of the weld what is the main remedy that is you should pre or post heat or heating of the weld okay so this is the cold cracking now the next effect that we are having is the lamellar tearing the lamellar tearing so see lamellar tearing it is the crack which is separating the heat affected zone from the base metal okay so if this is a weld okay and suppose this is a heat affected zone so the crack which is separate and this is the base material okay or base metal this is the base material and this is our weld and because of you know in a fusion welding the heat is going to have the effect on the base metal up to certain uh, area where the metallurgical changes are occurring so the crack which is separating the base metal from the heat affected zone because of the elongated inclusions which are present in the weld these are known as the lamellar tearing okay so this is also kind of a crack then the next defect we are having as a spatter so what is spatter say this is our weld so whenever there is excessive magnetic current conditions where whenever there is a excessive current conditions whenever there is a the magnetic arc blow when there is a large arc length so these reasons are basically for the spattering because of uh, these reasons what happen the molten metal into the weld pool is jumping okay from weld pool on to the non welded portion of the plates okay causing these tiny drops okay on the non welded portion so molten metal is going to jump from this weld pool and it is spread over like a tiny drops on to the non welded portion this is called as the spatter okay and the reason i already told you excessive current conditions magnetic arc flow and the large arc lengths which are responsible for this spatter okay and the last defect that occur in this welding that is the crater so crater is nothing but the hollow spherical depression at the end of the weld at the end of the weld okay so suppose we are seeing from the top so this is our weld we have done the welding so at the end we are getting this hollow spherical uh, depression called as a crater we already we already uh, have discussion on this crater when this crater is Uh, produce when we are uh, wrongly select the torch angles okay the selection of wrong torch angle in the gas welding will lead to the crater defect because whenever the larger amount of torch angle is used at the end of the welding the molten metal is definitely uh, because of the arc force it is jump out from the weld and you will get the hollow spherical depression that is the crater so to eliminate the crater what is the remedy so we should use the correct torch angles at at the end of the operation at the end of welding operation 
in case of what gas welding in case of gas welding okay so dear students these are some important defect we have discussed the cause of the defect and at the same time we have discussed about the remedies for these defects in the welding so summarize the uh, defects which are the defects the undercut which is like a small notch in the weld interface then we are having the incomplete fusion this is uh, some discontinuity which can be seen in the weld zone that is the incomplete fusion then we discuss the porosity so the sources of porosity is basically hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen and of course porosity always reduces the strength of the weld then we discuss about the slag inclusion so slag is not slag inclusion nothing but this is the entrapped slag into the weld pool uh, and causing uh, some spots dark spots that is the slag welding so solidification is occurred and the slag get entrapped into the weld pool only the slag should come out and float on the uh, weld pool but this is not happening so because of this arc force slag goes to the bottom of the weld pool and before it come out the solidification over that will ends to the defect called as a slag inclusion next we discuss the <coughs> spatter or then we discuss the actual cracks in cracks we discuss the hot cracks then the cold cracks okay and then spatter and lastly we discuss about the crater okay so this is in front of you uh, go through it thank you